Hello, it's me doing a review on my NECA Alien... Aliens Deluxe Alien Queen. <laughs> now, this figure is absolutely incredible. And I, oh, and I got it for only £40. Now, that's... I know you're probably thinking, well, that's quite a lot. But the amount of detail and everything on this is definitely worth it and I would definitely get this if I were you and I loved aliens because I got it on eBay for 40 pounds as I said but it's so, it's a brilliant deal it's just incredible so first I guess I'll start with the box I need to move the queen So, the box is very big. I had to get an even bigger setup again. So, it's got some eggs, some overmorph eggs or face hugger eggs for the non geeks. Then, you can get some other. I don't know if you can get them, but it's two people stuck in the amber. Then, it's got a big viewing section in there for where you can actually see it. Got some more stuff on the side. Then on the back, it's got another giant promotional picture. It's got some more stuff on the back celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Alien franchise. So it's got another promotional picture on the side as well, just of the Queen and a person. It looks a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is kind of strange. But this box is giant. Like, I've got lots of boxes that are giant, but this is definitely one of the biggest. So now I'll get onto the actual... Queen herself. So this is a very amazing figure. It's just, it's quite hard to stand up. Me and my dad made a special stand for it, which just goes into the back with a little metal pole. It does come with this, but you just go like that, and you just put it there to hold her up, but I, yeah, it's not amazing. I just don't really trust it, because it does fall over quite a lot. So I just didn't really use it. And also, it's got, behind the crest, it's got little holes where her sort of spikes fit in, but they just don't stay in, so I just didn't bother keep them in either. And another disappointing thing, now it's got these, her inner mouths, and just take the front of the head off to show you, the actual tongues don't actually fit in. So it's got a hole in the back where you put it in, but it just doesn't stay in. See, it just doesn't stick in whatsoever. You can sort of have it like that, but if you want it to get in, I'd recommend just heating it up with a blow dryer in there and also heating that up, and then you'll, def and then you'll be able to actually fit it in properly, it's just I haven't really been bothered to do that because I quite like it just like that. But if you do want it, definitely heat this up and that up with a with a hairdryer because it'll definitely because then it'll definitely stick in. But uh, the detail on this is actually just incredible. So it's got the sort of golden rib thingies on the neck there which is really nice. And then it's also, I'll just take it off its stand quickly, just get, so I can actually hold it up close to the camera. 
So it's got its mouth and the teeth and sort of gum bits there are made out of translucent plastic. So you can shine a light into it and it looks really cool. So you can have its ma her mouth glowing. I have still got some green in there which I haven't picked out yet for my survival stop motions. But then it's got her giant um, sort of trademark crest which is really big and that's another reason why they don't stick in because it just goes it falls down and crushes them and just pops them out and then it's got lots of detail on there it's got its tiny her tiny arms which honestly their hands look to be the opposite way round like that hand looks like it should be there and that hand looks like it should be there like I can't really remember what it looks like maybe I'm just getting mixed up but then it's got her spikes on her back going all the way down to the tip of the tail with her giant stabby spike I've got more sort of tendril not tendrils whatever these things are called then she's got her high heels. Man, it's got such amazing detail underneath as well. So all this gold and stuff going on with it. And it's just, it's a really cool figure. And I am amazed that I got it for £40. Because it is just such an epic figure. Sorry, I'm, it's really annoying to get on to actually stand up. So it just goes into the back there, my custom one. I guess I will sort of use this a bit just to help. But you can get some really cool poses with her. So you can have her sort of jumping out at Sigourney. I think you can get one yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get a NECA figure, which is Sigourney Weaver and Newt. Newt is the little girl from Alien 2. This is just such a cool figure, and you can get some brilliant poses with it. So you can have her roaring, you can have her sort of smacking. And actually, the articulation, like with some NECA figures, the articulation's a bit poor. Like, not amazing, but not not bad at the same time. But it's just, this one is, the articulation is incredible. And I'll do that, I guess I'll do that now. So it's got a ball joint for the top, for the front of the face. You can have her sort of going, ah. Also, the crest is on sort of a slide, so you can get it to cover up her face like that so you can have it when she's asleep sort of going down like that which is a really cool addition then her mouth is on a hinge so it just goes up and down then it's got another ball joint at the back of the head so a sort of the top of the neck there just get rid of that so then it's got another ball joint there and it's sort of a ball joint there doesn't really do much though. It doesn't actually do anything at all, really. Uh, and then her tiny arms. They are on, I think it's a swivel hinge. Just her, there. Yeah. So it's on sort of a, yeah, it's on a swivel hinge. You can spin it around up and down. Now it's also got another swivel hinge there, so you can spin it and stuff. And then it's got another swivel hinge at the wrists, which is quite nice. Then it's got, I think, yeah, it's got two swivels for the shoulders. Not really much up and down movement. Then for the elbows, it's got her sort of spike. And then a, I think it is another swivel hinge. So you can get some pretty good movement out of it. And then it's got another, I think it is just a hinge. 
Oh no, it is a swivel. The swivel hinge at the wrists as well. And then a sort of sprawled out fingers, which has looked really cool. So that's like, they always do the xenomorphs and aliens. The hands always is like they're jumping out pose and attacking poses, which I really like. Then it has got a sort of ball joint in there, but I think it did break off once. I think, I can't really remember, I did get this quite a while ago. Then it's got another swivel, actually. So it's got, up there, it's got a swivel at the top, doesn't really do much. And then it's got a swivel hinge there, which is nice. And it's got another, it's basically all of it's just swivel hinge. Yeah, all of it's swivel hinge. It has just got a plain hinge for the toes. And then the tail is brilliant. I love the tail because it's just got a big, thick piece of bendy wire in it. So you can get it straight. You can get it in tons of different cool sort of poses for her to stab and stuff. And it's really, really well articulated. But this figure, I would definitely recommend to any alien geeks if you haven't got it already because it is an epic epic figure and also something that looks quite good is if you i said you can shine a light on the mouth but if you shine a blue light to like a laser point to us it it really looks amazing like it shines bright bright blue which looks really cool and I could have it in the darkness and then just shine a little light onto the mouth, which looks really cool and effective. So, hope you enjoyed. There will be lot. I've got a few more aliens to review. So, I've got the newborn and the neomorph, I think, yeah. I haven't got the deacon because I wanted to get it ages ago, but it was £56. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's too much. But now I spend quite a lot of money on figures. So I might buy it. I might not. I don't really know. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.